A solution was formed by combining 25.0 grams of aluminum sulfate with 60 milliliters of distilled water at 21.4 degrees Celsius. The final temperature of the solution was 25.3 degrees Celsius. Calculate the molar heat of solution for aluminum sulfate. Got lots of stuff going on here, so let's try our best to work our way through it. A um, couple things you're going to need, and this is, comes from earlier in your chemistry year. Um, we will need the equation and molar mass for aluminum sulfate in order to solve this problem. Um, I'm not going to go through how to do that, but aluminum sulfate is Al2SO4 with a 3. So aluminum sulfate, here it is. And the molar mass, we're going to put this right up here, 342.15 grams per every one mole. Um, you will need that in order to solve this problem. So we've got a temperature change here. The temperature goes up by, well, we can do this quickly. 25.3 was our final temperature. 21.4 was our initial temperature. We're looking at about 3.9 degrees is what went up. So we put 25 grams of the aluminum sulfate into 60 milliliters of distilled water. The temperature goes up 3.9 degrees. So we can determine already that this is exothermic. Now, what does this equation mean? Q is heat measured in joules. M is mass, and this is important here. This is not only the mass of the aluminum sulfate, but is the mass of the water that you put it in. So I'm going to jot these down, 25.0 grams. How many grams of water did we have? Well, they don't flat out tell you, and there is a calculation you can do, but we assume that water weighs about one gram per one milliliter, give or take, depending on the temperature. So we have 60 grams of H2O, and this is aluminum sulfate. So we're starting to piece together the problem here. C is what we call specific heat. That is the heat capacity of water. In fact, we have a number 4.18 joules per every gram degree Celsius. Kind of a complex unit here. What does it mean? It literally means it takes 4.18 joules to raise one gram of water. And we'll put this, here's one gram of water, one degree Celsius. So if I had one little cube or one little gram of water, it would take 4.18 joules to raise it one degree Celsius. Now, so we're almost there. We've almost got this figured out. Change in temperature is how much the temperature went up or down. And this one, in this case, went 3.9 degrees Celsius. Now we have all the parts we need to solve for Q. I'm going to put this down here. Q equals our mass, which if we look at the sum is 25.0 grams plus 60 grams. Some of you can see that is 85, times the specific heat, which is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius, times the temperature change, which is 3.9 degrees Celsius. Now, if you're careful here, we will find that if we cancel the units, grams will cancel, degrees Celsius cancel. We're left with joules. Grab that your calculator and plug that in. 85 times 4.18 times 3.9 equals. I'm coming up with the number Q equals 1385 point, and this is what the calculator says, 67 
joules. That's how much energy was released when we dissolved 25 grams of aluminum sulfate into 60 milliliters of water. Now that is not the answer. The answer they are looking for is the molar heat of solution. Molar means, if you see that, that means, I'm going to put this over here, per mole. So we need to figure out this was per 25.0 grams. So I'm going to rewrite this and hopefully I have enough room here. 1385.67 joules per 25.0 grams. And you remember how earlier I wanted you to remember that there was 342 grams in one mole of aluminum sulfate. If we multiply here and we can get a number that is measured in joules per mole, in fact, if we multiply times 342.15 grams of aluminum sulfate, per every one mole of aluminum sulfate, our grams will cancel and we'll be left with the unit we desire which is joules per mole. So let's multiply. 1385.67 times 342.15 divided by 25 gives us find my pen here, 18,964 and some decimal joules per mole. A lot of times we don't report things in joules, we actually convert to kilojoules. So Dividing that by a thousand, I'm not going to show you all the work on that, we get about, and you would round this using significant figures, 19 kilojoules per mole. And that is the final answer. So if I were to dissolve a mole of aluminum sulfate in water, I would produce 19 kilojoules of energy.